What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective C Toro's Lesson 19, splitting the program into different files. And you may be saying, well, why do we have to split it up into separate files and everything? Why can't we just keep it in one file? It's a whole lot easier to manage right now. Well, true, right now it is, but when you get a large program with uh, many classes, it's very, very uh, conjobulated and hard to manage when it's all in one file. So this is... Uh, mainly uh, something that's done to help the programmer really just manage the program in the developmental stage and also because the classes are naturally split up so go ahead and open up the program that we've been working with and as you can see you have the interface and the implementation so it's that natural kind of divide of the class so anyways the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go to project and we're gonna create a new group and just name it classes and make sure it's not under source or any other file and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create um, two new files so go to Xcode and then go to file new file and make sure that um, it's under Cocoa class and you select an Objective C class and it's a subclass of NS object and hit next and then go ahead and name it budget since that's the name of the class and make sure that checked is also created a .h so it'll also create that header file along with the implementation file and then hit finish and then it'll put it right here in classes if it didn't automatically put it in classes just drag it into the classes folder but now what we'll do is go into the budget object dot m and copy command C and then you can just delete that out and then by default um, some code is in this header file uh, the import cocoa which I'll go over in just a second and then this empty uh, interface so go ahead and then just delete that and paste in the interface that we copied from budget object dot n. but why does it say uh, import coco instead of import foundation well because Xcode automatically assumes that we'll be needing coco for um, iPhone or Mac application so it automatically imports it when we add a new objective C class and uh, Coco also brings along with it the foundation header file so there's no need to uh, switch Coco to foundation because Coco is bringing in everything that we need from foundation so now the next thing we need to do is go back to budget object and grab the implementation here copy and delete that and then delete and paste and take note that uh, budget.m imports budget.h so it imports all the information from the interface into the implementation but now we just have one last thing to do uh, you can actually delete this import here because we imported it right here because uh, we imported Coco and Coco brings along with it like I said foundation so instead of importing foundation again which would be unnecessary um, we actually need to import budget dot H because otherwise this file would not know what we are talking about when we try to use these methods so import then quotation budget dot h close out the quotation and then you can go ahead and build run and save all okay now as you can see it build and ran correctly so we split up the class into separate files and it's a whole lot easier to work with because you have your interface and your dot h file you have budget and the dot m or the implementation and the dot m uh, you have 
all the work being done as far as the objects and messages and main it's just a whole lot easy to manage and especially when you start getting uh, lots of classes in your programs it's uh, very very hard to manage but that's all for this lesson next lesson we'll be going over naming conventions of objective C so please like this video comment below and subscribe above and check out some of my other videos that you may have missed and thanks for watching